Every few decades, Jamaica faces a storm so powerful that it defines an entire generation. And when you really look at the records, something strange starts to emerge. A pattern that seems to stretch across time. Hurricane Charlie struck Jamaica in 1951. Hurricane Gilbert hit in 1988. Now, 37 years later, in 2025, people are watching the horizon, wondering, is history about to repeat itself? But to understand this mystery, we have to go back, way back, to the early 1900s. Historical records show that between 1912 and 1915, Jamaica was battered by several storms, including the 1915 hurricane, which caused widespread damage across the island's southern coast. Though documentation was limited back then, this storm set the stage for what would later appear as a strange recurring timeline, one that seems to echo every 37 years. Then came Hurricane Charlie in August 1951. It tore through Jamaica with winds of over 125 miles per hour. Charlie was no ordinary hurricane. It was a Category 4 monster that carved a path of destruction from the east to the west. Nearly every parish was affected. Thousands of homes were destroyed, and many rural communities were completely wiped out. In Kingston, roofs flew off like paper, power lines snapped, and the food shortages followed for months. The agricultural sector, especially the banana and the sugar industries, took a devastating hit. Charlie left behind over 150 deaths in Jamaica and caused damage valued at tens of millions of pounds, an enormous sum for that time. But as always, Jamaicans rebuilt. From the ashes of Charlie came stronger housing designs, better emergency communication systems, and a growing awareness that preparedness was key to survival. Then came 1988, and with it, a storm that would forever be etched in Jamaican memory. Hurricane Gilbert. September the 12th, 1988, has gone down in the annals of Jamaica's history. Most parishes suffered in one way or another from the effects of the hurricane, and Jolene Griffiths reports on hurricane damage in three parishes, beginning with St. Thomas. I never experienced this before in my whole life. <laughs> and it seemed like I was working over the river there. And when I come back, I, I leave the two kids at home. And this beast began to blow and rush inside to take care of the kids. And my big mother, she come right away and tell me that I must come and get some shelter inside the house. And when they rush inside, next bedroom, next door, all of them have to go under the bed. And by we under the bed, it's like the whole roof come off, blow off. Winston Bryden is one of the many people in St. Thomas who lost the house and the property. His the Princess Margaret Hospital is a place for medical attention, but from these pictures, this hospital is also in need of help. The police station was also robbed of a roof, and when the hurricane raged, the jailhouse was used as a place of refuge. Of relief. I haven't been able to get to some of the villages yet. Some I'll have to use helicopter because there are no cut off complete from the rest of the villages. There was one boy who was killed in a church where the top collapsed and his mother got damaged. What, what, why Gilbert? Well, Gilbert, you're gone. Aha. No, we can chat behind your back. What, what, why Gilbert? Want to come in my room? Uh -huh. We sweep our song with me broom. 
Gilbert made landfall on September 12, 1988. And by the time it reached Jamaica, it had strengthened into a Category 5 hurricane, one of the most powerful storms ever recorded in the Caribbean. The eye of Gilbert crossed Jamaica from east to west, destroying nearly 80% of homes on the island and flattening banana plantations and coconut groves that had taken decades to grow. Winds exceeded 130 miles per hour, and for the first time in modern history, Jamaica went completely dark. No electricity, no communication, and no way to call for help. Yet even in that chaos, there was unity. Neighbors shared food and water. Families cooked on coal stoves together. Communities came together to rebuild what was lost. Out of destruction came strength, the Jamaican way. Now, here we are in 2025, 37 years after Gilbert, and just like in the years leading up to those other historic storms, the Atlantic is eating up again. Meteorologists have noted unusually warm ocean temperatures, one of the key ingredients for stronger hurricanes. The name Melissa has already emerged as one to watch in this year's hurricane season sparking talk across Jamaica about the island's strange 37-year storm cycle. So, is it coincidence or something more? Scientists argue that there is no solid evidence of an exact 37-year cycle in the Caribbean. Hurricanes depend on climate factors like El Nino and La Nina and changes in sea surface temperature, not on time intervals. Yet there is no denying the eerie historical rhythm. 1915, 1951, 1988, and now 2025. What makes this story even more interesting is how each storm has changed Jamaica's history. Charlie inspired the modernization of weather forecasting in the Caribbean. Gilbert transformed how Jamaica handled disaster response, leading to the creation of agencies like ODPEM, the Office of Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management. And today, as we watch the Atlantic more closely than ever before, we can thank those painful lessons for the preparedness we now have. But if history has taught us anything, it's that Jamaica always rises. No storm, no matter how fierce, has ever broken the island spirit. From Charlie to Gilbert, every generation has faced its hurricane, rebuilt its homes, and kept its faith. And if another great storm comes in 2025, it will only remind the world once again that Jamaica may bend, but it never breaks. So whether or not this 37-year cycle is real, one thing is for certain. The strength of the Jamaican people is the most powerful force on the island. If you found this story fascinating, remember to like, share, and subscribe to Elite Jamaica, where we bring you the history, culture, and hidden truths of Jamaica like never before. Stay safe, stay strong, and as always, stay prepared and one love. Stay blessed.